I'm here today to talk to you about how I do mocking in Go. It's a technique I've learned while working in, with SourceGraph in San Francisco. And in order to illustrate, I will use a mailing server that I've built as a personal project called Gomez. It has a couple of components, an SMTP server that receives mail and places it on a queue, a transfer agent that picks mail up from the queue and delivers it, and uh, some other components to retrieve mail from your inbox, such as a JSON API to do it via REST or a POP protocol, and additionally a command line interface to configure all of these. Central to all of these components is a mailing server, which I've implemented as an interface. It seems to be the hot topic of today's conference which contains uh, queuing, the queuing methods, deliver and retrieve, and the query method to query the inbox to find out whether a user is local, remote, or whether the user is on some spamming list. This gives us the opportunity to test each one of the methods independently, so each component is isolated and can be tested independent of the others. The way I do mocking in Go is I have a structure, a mock structure, that contains mock methods, as you can see in the structure definition. Each one of the mock methods has the same signature as the interface method that it mocks. So when you initialize this structure, you can define the behavior of the mock. As you can see at the bottom is the implementation of the, of the interface, where each method returns the mock method that it represents. As a very simple example, let's say you have a function called save message at the top that takes a mailbox and a message as a param, and all it does is it calls Q on mailbox and passes it that message. What we would like to test here is pretty straightforward. We want to see that Q on mailbox gets called. So what we do is we construct a mock mailbox, we mock the Q method, and we set the value to true whenever Q is called. Then we call save message, we pass it that mock mailbox and an empty message, and we verify that the method was called. This gives us the possibility to see that error, errors are handled correctly, that parameters are passed as they should be. As you can see, it's a pretty dynamic way to mock objects in Go. Another situation I've run across, this is an oversimplification of it. Let's say you have a function that is supposed to return to you the host of a client connection. What you do is ask for the remote address, then split host port and return the host. Pretty straightforward. But if you're obsessed about coverage, like I am, you want to see that, that return error line there is called as well. And in order to do so, you would have to make split host port fail. This is a very basic example. You could have a situation where you're doing reverse lookups. You would want to fake addresses there as well. In order to mock an address, it's pretty straightforward. An address implements two methods, network and string. You can initialize them through the structured fields and return them. Then you would have to mock the network connection, which is a bit more complex, but still pretty straightforward. You would use the mock address to return them via local address and remote address methods of the network connection. And you can define how these network addresses will look like via the structures fields at the top. Additionally, I also like to use an incoming and an outgoing buffer to which you will read and write from to see how other components interact with the network connection. If you're not interested in mocking local addresses and remote addresses, then you're not going to need to mock network connection like this. And you can just use the method called pipe from the net package, which gives you two ends of a network connection. The disadvantage to that is, is that when you use pipe, you won't be able to ask for the local or remote address because you will get a panic. So in those cases, it's useful to use something like this. Thank you. My name is Gabriel, and I encourage you to come talk to me about testing and about how you do mocking in Go, because I'm interested to find out more about that. And feel free to get in touch. Thank you.